What's up guys and in this video I'll be showing you how to add more mods onto your Nova's mod list uh, or any other one uh, from that matter that uses MO2. <laughs> Unfortunately as you can see in the background I was being a, a, bit, uh, a bit silly and I decided to not just add more to my mod list but also to <laughs> delete a lot from my mod list and that ended up a little bit like this where I would constantly get a crash so I thought why not make this video eh? Okay, let's get started. So before we actually add mods to our mod list, there is a little simple step we need to do first, which will make this pro uh, process a lot easier. You want to go up here to settings and then you go to the tab, which has Nexus. And now you want to connect or link your account to Nexus. You can do it in two ways. You can enter your own API key or just click on the connect one and it will bring you uh, uh, to the Nexus mods webpage and you just authorize them, right? You've successfully logged into Modern Organized 2. Yay, yay, yay. Cool. All right. With that out of the way, we go to the next part. And that is you want to click Associate with Download Manager Links. This will make it so when you click, uh, click, whoa, click <laughs> on Mod Manager Download, it will download it through uh, this Mod Organizer that you've got running through Nexus. Or Novus, sorry. Um, you can also do this with other ones like uh, any web, uh, web eject mod list. It will work the exact same. Doesn't really matter. It will still remain mod organizer too, right? Um, okay. Once we've done that, click OK and just uh, restart it. All right. Now we are ready to actually add onto our mod list. Uh, I've already deleted uh, quite some mods, as you can see. Uh, I'll probably end up trying to delete like another 100, but this time without breaking my mod list. Um, if you want to, quick tip for if you want to delete mods, uh, most of the DLC ones are pretty safe. Just make sure that some of the stuff isn't connected to just a bunch of other things. Like, for example, you probably would not actually, um, you wouldn't guess it, but if I scroll to like clothes or let's say armors, there's actually quite some, you know, plus minuses. Yeah, these, yeah, make sure, sure, sure. Uh oh, actually a lot here, blah, blah, blah. Um, but also all the way over here in outputs or, you know. And actually, and this is something that I learned from, is that when you delete a armor mod, let's say it it is spitted into your game. Um, so it's like, you know, it's, it's given to a bunch of characters, especially if you were to also um, go to some of your tools like X edit where you can change all the fought like you can like for example replace certain armor so if you want the white run guards to all wear a certain type of armor you could also replace the white run guard outfit with whatever armor you want okay if that is the case and you start deleting all these armor mods your game might just get a little bit frazzled let's say and it might also start crashing so okay now actually let's get to the part where we add things to our mod list uh, so i wanted to actually show you a couple of different things you need to think about as well and that's that is going to be like a foundation core and add-ons when it comes to a mod um it's not that difficult to understand but basically right uh especially when you look at some of these plugins skse for example is a very big foundation or framework and you can see here a lot of frameworks like that netscript framework um there's a bunch of things that have like a little foundation but what i mean when i say foundation let's say you want wheeler we want this mod to work i'm going to go to wheeler down the oh wait nope always check requirements d menu okay now this is more recommended for tweaking settings so it's not necessary necessary but let's say um this would be our foundation mod first thing we want to do mod manager download as we said before uh luckily now it's actually going to download right there we also want to download wheeler now okay download and then i also found this cool little add-on that can go over it that can give you these cool effects right in your wheel or well around the th items inside of your wheel and we really want to have that as well because it looks cool so boom let's download that as well now we've done that we can go off the web page go back to our mod organizer and Right here on the right, you get your plugins, archive, data, saves, downloads. You go to the downloads. As you can see here, status. This green means it's downloaded without any issues or errors. Install. Okay. The order that you do this doesn't matter. Um, just install them for now. 
and they will be put in the highest priority so at the bottom of your mod list oh we actually get to choose here uh, let's say we want to have our this one and uh, creation clip icons and so okay cool little foam out there as you can see there at the bottom look at the priority very high up good um but we don't need it to be we want it over here uh where hud is this is just going to be the case with these mods obviously change them to whatever uh, seems fit so if you download a weapon pack or weapons it obviously goes on their weapon same for clothes armor stuff like that right okay now we're just gonna drag and drop you can uh, i'm just gonna drag and drop because i'm lazy and i don't want to do it in a different way but you know okay um you can also change through here but like i said just to make it very uh, easy to uh, to understand now we've got them in the right order but how would you know they're in the right order as i said before let's say this uh, is the big requirement for this to work this is going to come first so on a lower priority when it comes to numbers higher on the list and then you'll put the main core like underneath it and whatever add-on um, you get for a mod will go under there remember if you want it to go over what you already got you need to make it a higher priority than the one before or whatever you want it to work for right if you get an add-on for example the mod that uh, you get the different locks when you lock pick you will if you get one of those add-ons you will have to put it on a higher priority it's the same for every single mod works like that okay make sure you got your quote unquote framework core mod add-ons now this isn't necessarily a framework for this it's more of an optional option but just so you can kind of get how that works now we're just going to enable them taking a wee bit enable 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 and there you go as you can also see you got a little you know plus minus here means these are interacting with one another and this one actually goes underneath um now you might want to check your plugins just to be sure as well let me change the priority because this is a bit more important here so uh i should probably change this one down uh also for anyone that gets the purple match glitch every fwmf file needs to be on the absolute highest priority uh on your plugins um just just heads up for people that use novice if you do add things to your mod list and you start seeing purple when you open your map don't worry just go to your plugins and make sure you drag whatever you've installed to below the fwmf where you put them not that important unless there's some some in here that conflict with one another but it should be good as long at least for the map part make sure they're underneath fwmf files okay but um yeah uh, if you do want to have any more like tips or whatever on how to make certain new mods or frameworks uh work uh sometimes i have to figure it out myself as well so don't think i'm some genius i'm probably just like you guys i just want to have a lot of fun playing skyrim and want to try to get a cool fancy mod list that fits your needs and honestly sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't and then you have to go back to the drawing board um another small tip that i would want to give to uh, uh, like everyone is that just be a little bit patient uh, anyways i've been yapping quite a bit hopefully i did help you um if you if you did like the video and then help you out please be sure to like and subscribe i know it's very simple very basic but just for the people that are a little bit afraid to um add on to their mod list uh, it, might, it might help them out so hey let's help let's help each other out when we're making these confusing ass mod lists sometimes right <laughs> anyways um take care and have a good day